September. And uh, here in Long Beach at the Long Beach Playhouse. Woo -hoo. Uh, yeah, see? I, I did it up right. Um, I quickly found out when I got married that um, I'm that friend. Uh, you may know this friend. It's that friend of yours that likes to introduce the fact or factoid that they're married into every human interaction. Uh, I find myself telling everyone I know, including non-humans like Alexa and Google and random dogs and the coyotes that roam Long Beach, that I'm married. Um, I do it in like ninja-like fashion though. I was at Starbucks the other day and I walked up to the, the barista, or if they identify as male, the barista. <laughs> and uh, he was like, ma'am, do you want a drink? Oh my god, I totally want a vanilla frappe, but my husband and I are watching our LDs. So, uh, plain tea, please. Uh, okay, ma'am. And, uh, what name on the cup? Well, I'm traditional, so Mrs. Whitney! <laughs> um, there's, of course, that awkward exchange at Target when the cashier's like, uh, ma'am, you wanna, wanna buy a bag? Oh my god, my husband told me to bring my bags and I forgot again. Oh, can I buy a bag? Um, I love when I do my impression of myself. I kind of sound like Drew Barrymore and never been kissed. <laughs> um, I clearly, clearly have been kissed because I'm married. <laughs> Did I mention that? Anyone? Okay, thank you for the patronizing laughs. That was a joke. <laughs> The other thing that I have learned since getting married is uh, how much nudity is involved in marriage. And uh, not that kind of nudity, purse. I know what you're thinking. Don't let this Laura Ingalls outfit fool you. I do like a roll in the hay. Uh, but uh, when I talk about nudity, it's more about the things my husband does naked. I came home the other day at uh, 5, 12 p.m. The time is important. To find my husband standing in our kitchen, naked, eating Doritos. <laughs> I'm like, we had that moment when I walked in the door and we stared at each other. <laughs> nakedness, me fully dressed at 5, 12 p.m. And uh, we had the same thought. I have made terrible life decisions. And uh, I'm married to the naked Dorito guy. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say, like, I wasn't mad that he was naked in our kitchen at 5.12 p.m. with the dog yes. staring at him begging for those Doritos, which he did not share. Uh, I wasn't naked, or excuse me, I wasn't naked. I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't mad that he was naked, because I have to do the laundry. Uh, I pulled out on the chore wheel, so that was frankly one less shirt that I had to wash. But what really got me... Um, enraged was that he uh, did not have his socks on. And uh, for any of those folks in here who've experimented and had sex with a man, uh, for some reason they like to leave their socks on. And uh, gentlemen, I, I'm just curious, does it impair your sexual prowess if your socks are off? Like, does the heat on your feet just allow you to thrust just in such a way? Um, I once tried to take my husband's socks off during sex, and he safe worded me so quickly. He was like, pineapple, pineapple! I was like, huh? Um, but apparently, eating Doritos is a socks off experience. <laughs> sex with me, a form of occasion. But the yeah, one sheer, left, thank you, the sheer, sheer seductiveness of Doritos is let's take off our socks. Um, I now have a vendetta with Doritos. Like I walk down Elberton's uh, chip aisle and I'm like, fuck you, burrito. Fuck you, chili verde. Fuck you, nacho cheese. And of course, the Jenna Jameson or Stormy Daniels of Doritos, cool ranch. And that is why, folks, when you see me, check out at Vons or Elberton's or Pavilions, whatever you're choice preference for grocery stores, you will never find in those bags that I have to buy, because despite the fact my husband reminds me all the time, I forgot the reusable bags, you will never find the fucking Doritos. Thank you. <laughs>